Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelsey here from Empress of Energy, ready to jump into a reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. So place the sign in your birth chart any way you like, you could find messages in here for you. And cross watchers, always welcome. If you are new, hi, please do subscribe, let's connect energies if you are returning. Thank you guys, I really do appreciate every single one of you. So let's go. I'm going to look at current energy again for you guys. So I'm going to start off though this time with an oracle deck, postcards from spirit. There's beautiful messages in here and I do feel like we all need to hear one this week. So let's see. The messages that we'll be receiving is from your guides, your ancestors. It's something you need to hear for your highest good, Leo, okay? So what do we have, spirit? A message for Leo, please. So Moon, Rising and Venus. Whoa, that's too many. I'll take that one. Thank you so much. Okay, it does sound like a laundrette in the kitchen today, guys. Um, so bear with me, I hope you can still hear me. Um, dear you, uncertainty is the new normal for the whole world. Things are changing at a rapid pace and the old ways we once trusted are no longer reliable. But leaving the familiar behind can be a good thing. When you are pushed to step into the unknown, you are pulled forward into discovering new possibilities that have been hidden in plain sight. Check in with your higher power. Your soul knows better than your small self. Have faith in the support of higher power and the infinite potential for your life. Right now, the advice we have for you is this. Try something new, do something different. You won't know how it feels, what it looks like or what the outcome will be if you do not take that first step into the unknown and experience the unfamiliarity. You'll be so glad that you did because the treasure will appear. We're so proud of you for being brave. You are so loved and so supported. I have just paused that washing machine because I feel like it's about to get loud. <laughs> um, but yes, Leo, that is your message, my dears. I hope you really need to hear that. So I do feel like for some of you, you're going through some kind of grieving process over something. That could be over someone passing, over a loved one passing away. If so, I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, but for others, it's due to change. I feel like there's some kind of change, but there's a part, there's a loss that's been a part of it. And, you know, I feel like you're quite nervous if you like or <clears throat> fearful of moving forward with this change okay but i feel like you've been told not you know don't be fearful of it embrace it i feel like it's divine guidance that you're going through at the moment um there is someone around you or there have, has been around you leo that is so untrustworthy there. there's someone here that's betrayed you big time big time though so let's see what we have. Leo's energy uh, spirit, please. I'm not sure if I've already said it, I can't remember. Um, but the energy that I'm reading, guys, is, your, is yours or someone that you connected to energetically. Flip the roles as you see fit. Be impossible to connect with every single Leo in the world. So I'll take what messages are yours, if any, and leave the rest behind. Hmm. There's something about your intuition that's speaking to you very loud and clear, Leo. And it's something to do with finding peace. I feel like if there's peace that's, that needs to be found, and it could be do, uh, to do with some kind of rejection or turning your back on something or somebody, you know that you need to do that, but it might be difficult to do so. I'll tell you about Leo's energy, please, Spirit. So, Moon Rising and Venus, thank you. Leo's energy, please. Yeah, there's a lot of strength that's needed. Shit. Wow. Okay, first card, tower, um, guys, is a tower. Yeah, something, something, I feel like something awful rather than just unexpected has happened. Something unexpectedly difficult has come around in your environment, Leo. Something shocking, something chaotic, something destructive for some. Very painful for others as well. But this is destined, guys. Even the good, you know, everything is destined in my belief. The good, the bad and the ugly. Um... Sorry, the good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> so please do trust the process here. Have faith in have faith in the support of a higher power because this is like divine intervention. Something's happened here, and it's divine intervention. Okay. The Knight of Wands. For a lot of you, you know, whatever this means, you went rushing to this tower moment 
you know the tower can be like an event of such so it's like oh some of you have caused right this won't be for everybody but just i mean by all means flip the rules as you see fit but some of you have caused this moment and now you're stressed over it but it was still meant to be it's there's something that's happened here that you could have made a move here and now you could be slightly regretting it but i feel like you've been told don't Tell me more, please, Leo's energy. Like, wondering whether it was the right move. Yeah, the Four of Cups and the Two of Swords. So, you could have rejected someone here. And someone's very stressed over that, or you are. One more, Leo's energy. Oh, Page of Cups, okay. So someone could be really wanting to apologise to you right now over something that's happened and you just might not be entertaining it at all. I feel like you could have said, wow, well, Ten of Cups. This could be something to do with a family environment. Something to do with some kind of emotional fulfilment for you. Um, I feel like something's happened that you was... Just for some reason, this Knight of Wands is rushing towards this tower, do you know what I mean? And I feel like this is your energy. So you went into something and it just wasn't as it should have been. It wasn't as expected. And now there's a lot of stress, worry over some kind of rejection. There's blocking going on. There's coming to a crossroads with a decision, refusing to see or feel something for as it is. And now someone's wanting to apologize. Let's clarify, let's find out. Let's see what this is all about. If this is making sense, please do let me know. Yeah, look, you've had to have strength. You've had to take a step back from something or somebody here, and it's been very, very difficult. Very difficult. But that's your energy, Leo. Strength. And you're the High Priestess again. You're very intuitive, guys. Very, very, very much so. Let's clarify this energy, please. Yeah, some of you, right? Some of you have started something completely brand new for your own stability, for your own home life. Um, some of you have started something brand new and it's caused a tower, right? I feel like it was warranted, whatever's happened, because I see, I've seen so much betrayal, so much pain, so much heartbreak. For some of you, this could be for one person, but for some of you, one particular Leo that I'm connecting with out there, maybe started some kind of third party situation in some way, shape or form. Tell me about this tower, please. What's this tower moment? Tell me about this, please, Spirit. The Leo's energy. Right, King of Pentacles. So this is to do with some kind of home life Something to do with family, work. Something abrupt has happened here. Could be to do with money for some. Tell me more, please. This is like, could be dealing with a Taurus here. This is like head of house. Something's happened. Someone's coming through a tower. <laughs> Sorry if I'm, if I'm rambling, but I'm just getting so much. Four of Cups. Four of Cups here twice, guys. Someone's fucked up and they're realising it. Someone's been rejected. Wow, four of ones. 444, four, four. you could be seeing fours a lot here, guys. Google the num angel number 444. Four, four. Um, might mean something to you at this time. But there's something here to do with the four of ones energy. This is um, marriage, commitment, sharing a home with somebody. There's something here to do with a family or home life that has come to a big shake up. I want to say huge shake up, but it's down to somebody's actions. It's down to somebody possibly being controlling to do with money for some of you. Controlling some, something to do with controlling the home. It's kind of like big shock. Big shock has, has happened here. A big shock. And I feel like you could have done this. You could have given someone the wake up call that they needed, I want to say. Um, but you're on the right path here, Leo. Again, number syn synchronicities could be big to you at the moment. If you've seen 11, 11 a lot, or fours, 
Um, please do take note of them. You're on the right path, guys. Tell me about this Knight of Wands, please. Leo's energy. I feel like this is you. This is your energy. Fire energy. And you've... Yeah, shit. You've walked away from someone and that's what's, that's what's happened here. You have caused someone a tower moment. But like I say, I feel like it's so deserved. So wanted, yeah? Because they're a liar. You've walked away from someone because they cannot be trusted. The Seven of Swords. Lying, cheating, stealing, deception, sneaky ass energy in some way, shape or form. Some of you as well could have walked away sneakily. Like I said, some of you could have started a third party situation. Um, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. For some, some of you, you just couldn't trust whoever it was that you were sharing a home with, so you had to break free. There was just so much distrust here. Um, for some of you as well, someone stole the money. As, as someone was leaving, someone could have stolen money, taken some kind of money with them. For some of you, for some of you as well, um, you just got tired of believing new starts. There was a constant new start, new start, new start, fresh start, this, that and the other from this person. And they were just lying every time. You know, there was all talk, no action. Um, tell you about this dinosaur, please. But that now someone's stressed. This could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. Um... Tell me about this nine of swords, please, for Leo's energy. Four of swords. <clears throat> That's too many. The four of swords, right, okay. Someone's not sleeping very well. They need to, but they're not. The mind's not resting. Someone's mind won't rest. overthinking overdrive yeah and it's about it's over being the page of wands someone could have been very in and out someone could have been very fire starter energy you know i'll do what i want as i want as i please there could be an age difference involved here for some of you someone is reflecting on what they've done though the seven of pentacles so this page of wands energy that someone you know, I like to sit, sometimes I see the page of wands as someone quite egotistical, someone quite playful, a bit snaker. Um, can like shed the, shed the skin in different scenarios. Someone's reflecting upon that kind of energy. They're stressed over it though. I feel like they're stressed, whatever they've done, they've stressed themselves out with it. Because you've said no, thank you. No more for me. Not interested. Sorry about this four of cups. I do feel like someone is really going to try and apologise though. If they're not already, I please expect this. You might have to block this person because they're going to be that insistent. Um, Yeah, you know what, guys? If you haven't said no thank you yet to this person, when you do, you're going to get presented with this. And for those of you that have already said no thanks, I'm not interested. <clears throat> Some kind of rejection. Ace of Swords is coming. You've either rejected this person because you found something out, or as soon as you do reject this person, or whatever this is, you're going to find out some truth. There's going to be a kind of, I want to say like a release, some kind of release to some kind of deception here. There's going to be... Yeah, starting again. There's going to be something that you find out or something that you're being told that is going to allow you to become the fool, which is starting all over again from scratch. Starting new, card zero, starting all over again. Something quite, you know, stepping off into the abyss, but I've got to do it. I've got to go. Aries energy. Yeah, this is a decision that you, if you've not made it yet, guys, you are going to the two of wands. This is like a big life path. You are being guided in, in some respects as well. There is somebody trying to guide you, whether that's your own intuition, please listen to it, it could very well be. Um, please do listen, don't go against the grain here, I wanna say. Tell me about this two of swords, please. There's a new start that, you've, that you're choosing or you've had to choose from. Yeah, you're healing. Some of you are also blocking off your own wish fulfillments here. Possibly, you know. You know, like up here in the postcard from spirit, there's something powerful about your energy. 
and you know you, the universe is behind you here but there might be a little bit of change is scary energy so you're blocking off your own wish fulfillment because you know it could be dealing with Aquarius but this is you this is your energy you are getting what you deserve you are getting what you're wishing for healing but there's an energy of blocking this off two of swords or there's, there's an energy of you know you've gone through something quite traumatic within an environment within a person and they've kind of allowed you to believe that you're not worthy of something you're not worthy you're not worthy of what you deserve and that's completely not the case yeah because there was a lot of six of pentacle energy going on there was a lot of imbalance there was a lot of you know giving you the less of something repetitively like you was always the one rece to receive the least in whatever this is and so you become to a point where you just was under the belief of not being worthy and not deserving of it and that's bullshit guys this is leo season is it not happy birthday to you all you beautiful lions Tell me about this two of swords, please. Oh, I'm gonna put that back. But um, for some of you, for some of you as well, you're very artistic, you're very creative. There's something about your energy that is very um, bright, colourful, vibrant, and you can put that to practice. But there's something about what's happened that has doubted yourself as well. Please stop that. Tell me more, please, this two of swords. Tell me more, this two of swords, please, spirit, Leo's energy. Yeah, three of swords, here it is. So, for a lot of you guys, you are really, really, really struggling to shake this feeling. You know, something big's happened and, you know, we do all have, we are human, guys. Things do affect us, okay? So something has affected you here as far as this three of swords energy goes. There's some kind of big pain in the heart here. Someone has put a dagger straight through someone's heart and you are, you are struggling to heal this. One more, please. Wow of the devil shit could be done with the capricorn so you know what there's an energy here guys of to a degree and in a sense he was dealing with someone that enjoyed doing this to you and i can't believe i've even just said that but that's what i'm seeing that's what i'm feeling the look on this devil's face wow let me see if i can get that to focus but this this how do i do that <laughs> you know the look on his face is He's enjoying whatever he's doing, basically. He's got a smirky look on his face. He was very tied to this person. He was very... He felt very tied to this person. He was unable to break out, break free. If you are still in this... If you are still in this position at the moment, guys, if you're still in this situation at the moment, you are being told here that you are more than capable of getting out of this. You just don't believe that right now. Wow, someone's so obsessive, someone is so controlling. And it's emotionally as well. I feel like it's more emotional controlment, if that's even a word. <laughs> um, tell me about this page of cups, please. But I feel like someone's going to come and attempt an apology here. Yeah. What's this page of cups, Leo's energy? Someone just put you down all the time I want to say someone just forever put you down and I feel like they, they enjoyed it guys like, honestly I can't even believe them words coming out of my mouth but people are like that sometimes and this person enjoyed your pain they didn't want you to believe that you was this wish fulfillment they didn't want you to believe that you was this star that you are so they put you down <laughs> honestly someone's coming in to tell you how much they love you now Jesus Christ the King of Cups, Page of Cups, King of Cups, the Emperor, shit. Yeah. Someone has been very much the narcissist and they want to come and express their feelings and the emotions now on how this situation has now backfired on them. This controlling energy, this Emperor, Page of Pentacles. You could have one or two children with this person. This could very much be a father figure for some. Um, but you've done something about yourself. You've done something about yourself and it's made... You're juggling your shit well. You're managing very well. 
very, very well. You've learned a lot of lessons. You could have been taking yourself through some kind of higher education. Um, you're doing something passionately for yourself. And this person is, I feel like they're devastated at your control. Like they, they want to bring in some good news. For some of you as well, if you are starting up your own business as well, expect this person to want to try and invest into that. But there's some kind of, oh, please, you know, please just listen to me right now. I'm so sorry for what I did. I wasn't living in my true emotions. It's not how I felt about you. It's not how I do feel about you. Please let me, please let me fix this. Please let me fix this. Please let me fix this is what I'm hearing. Um, but I feel like you should continue. You're going to possibly struggle on what to do when this apology comes in because I genuinely feel like it's coming, guys. Um, but... When in doubt, choose yourself, okay? That's what I have for you, Leo. Crazy reading, to be fair. Very detailed, I feel. Could have been very personal for one particular person, but do subscribe if these messages were for you. Let, like the video. Let's help it circulate YouTube. Comment on it. I do love hearing the feedback. Um, but I shall see you all in the next one, guys. Thank you so much.